All right, day two of the Beast program. It's a leg day, so we're gonna start off with SSB squats. Uh, we're doing five at six, five at seven, five at eight for two sets. I'll explain more about why we're doing the SSB bar, how many days a week we're squatting, uh, just more information for the leg day. Um, that's what we got going on, so let's get after it. All right, so I actually like the SSB bar because it gives my elbows a break. Typically when I do low bar squats, uh, I tend to get some elbow tendonitis, which is common with a lot of lifters. So preserving my elbows is great for the SSB, as well as my shoulders, because you have this comfy, cozy pad on your shoulders and you get to hold the handle. So it's just a much more comfortable squat in my opinion. I also like it because it's a mixture of a front and a back squat. And I have made a video about this before and I'll put it up right here. Uh, just kind of reiterating most of the points I'm talking about now. But uh, I think it also uh, kind of transfers over to the deadlift a little bit more because the muscles used and it's that mixture of a front and a back squat, which is kind of cool too. All right, yeah, so I like the SSB bar because I feel like it carries over to a lot of the strongman events. I think it builds stability for yoke. I think the upper back simulation helps with stones, other loading implements. You know, you get a little more forward uh, stimulus, so that like strength could carry over to push press as well, and stuff like that. I don't because, well, I don't, but I do now. Uh, I don't because they're my weakest squat variation, but since switching to strongman, I've enjoyed them now. I've, I've, en bleh, I've enjoyed them more because of the carryover to deadlift with the, uh, as compared to like a normal high bar squat, the muscles that it works and all that, and how it carries over. All right, so one of the downsides though of the SSB bar is it does give a little bit more lower back fatigue, I find. so. Uh, just trying to find a happy medium with the intensity, but wearing the belt uh, for me does help. So this is uh, my second day where I do wear a belt and any sort of gear that I want uh, when doing the lift. Uh, but we're trying to preserve that lower back fatigue as much as possible to keep training as hard as possible. So it's like a double-edged sword, just something to be aware of. Uh, but you can, you know, change that variable with maybe a tempo, a pause, etc., so that you can't go as heavy. Uh, but that's just something to keep in the back of your mind when doing the SSB squat is gonna be the lower back fatigue. I have noticed with SSB squats, some people tend to round their upper back on the way up each rep. Uh, for me, it's never something I really have done, uh, unless it's maybe really heavy and there's a little bit of form breakdown. I guess if you wanted more of an upper back stimulus when doing SSB squats, you could uh, do that a little bit, uh, but that's, I guess, personal preference. For me, I like to stay more upright uh, so that it's, that keeping consistent with that mixture of a front and a back squat feel when squatting. What are you thinking about back squats? <laughs> oh, my word. I do them Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's how much I like them. Back squats are your favorite, aren't they? <laughs> no, they, uh, you know, they're good, but uh, that high volume, gosh, like, back it up. <laughs> the high volume is, you know, it's hard, but they're good. All right, so next variation we do is we have our narrow stanch hack squats. And the reason we chose to use the hack squat this block is once again to help uh, with that stimulus to fatigue ratio. I think we get a really good stimulus from using the hack squat, uh, but overall systemic fatigue is gonna be lower than doing another barbell variation. Uh, just because it is a machine, it's on an angle. So you're just putting a little bit more isolation into the legs and uh, taking off that pressure uh, from uh, the spine, so letting the spine just decompress a little bit uh, versus doing a barbell variation. But we are, on the flip side, we have PTSD from doing hundreds of sets of these with Dr. Mike and Charlie when we were doing bodybuilding. Uh, so very quickly it, during the hack squat, I started to question my uh, decision to put this in the program. I also had to question my life and existence and I felt myself drifting into the fifth dimension. I like hack squats. Uh, I like getting some extra like volume in, I think. Um, Especially for my deadlift, like taking that narrow stance has a lot of carryover, and I am really strong off the floor. But you do want to, you know, focus on your strengths as well as your weaknesses, so you know, continue to get stronger in that area where you're strong. And I think it just, you know, builds a lot of low stress volume, you know, like that can, you know, continue to build you up in your. 
All right, guys, always remember to get that full ROM, okay? Full range of motion, especially on the squats, the hack squat, ass to grass. Uh, there's really no more reasoning why you shouldn't try to get full ROM when it comes to muscle development. And the more muscle development you have, the stronger you're gonna become. Uh, if you can't get you know, down super deep, just go to the deepest ability that you have and try to work on that over time, okay? Some of the, the guys we've had in here, they were always above parallel, but you know, over time, uh, they loosen up, they can get a little bit deeper. There's some other techniques and tricks, but we wanna to try to get to the, uh, the deepest and uh, fullest range of motion as possible uh, when it comes to all training, uh, but I really find it key on leg day. So typically, right now, we're training legs twice per week. Uh, we do have a pulling day that involves trap bar deadlifts, which I kind of think is like half of a leg day because there are some some quads in with that trap bar. So uh, the, the squat isn't a huge priority on my list right now. As long as I can train it enough to maintain my gains, maybe make a little bit of progress, but my goal isn't uh, a squat number right now, it's the press and the deadlift. So the squat in my mind is gonna be uh, a way to enhance the deadlift. So whatever variations I need to do to, to do that or whatever leg assistance exercises, uh, I'm gonna put those in rather than a more uh, squat focus approach. So that's kind of the methodology behind the programming with this block as we lead into uh, when I test in the middle of May. So hopefully uh, this works and if it doesn't, well, that sucks, but uh, trial and error, baby. All right, so on this day, we actually did three exercises and a lot of people are like, what, three exercises, that's it? Well, here's the deal. The goal is strength training. So we're trying to get in big compound movements and prioritize strength and uh, the movements associated with strength. So I'm not trying to be a bodybuilder. I'm not trying to hit tons and tons of volume and a million different exercises to hit my glutes, my calves, hamstring isolation, etc. I wanna just try to overall get the best stimulus possible. So we put more work into those big main movements and overall still the session, uh, you know, an hour and a half. Okay, so it's only three movements, an hour and a half, but we're putting in more working sets and pushing harder in those main movements rather than picking five or six exercises and doing a lot of sets, trying to hit little muscle groups when we get all that from uh, the, the training stimulus of the big movements. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed day two, leg day of the Beast program. Like I said, I'll probably release it for a limited time for you guys to try to do exactly what I'm doing. It may work for you, it may not, but I figured it'd be cool for you to just uh, see what it's all about. So I'll put out every single day of this block uh, for the first week, and then I'll probably do one towards the end to just show the difference from start and finish. Uh, but make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, share it all over your social platforms. It means a lot to me. Stay a lean, mean strength machine.